Today on my video blog, we are going to unbox the Ozentech x Home Theater HD. So this is the very first sound card, or well, I think there's one other one, but this is the first one to do it correctly for support for Dolby True HD and DTS HD Master Audio. So what that means is when you're playing back a Blu-ray movie, there's absolutely no downsampling. You are getting the audio exactly as it is recorded. Most sound cards are not able to do that. So let's get this unboxing going on. Another thing it's got listed on the front is that it support, it's got support for HDMI 1.3 HD audio pass-through. So here we go. This is an X5 card, so that means that it's using the Creative X5 chip, and let's get it started here. So, oh, on the side, this is even labeled for us. Check that out. So we got the bundle pack, and then we have the X5 Home Theater HD. So why don't we do the bundle pack first? We'll just, um, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so let's find out just exactly what comes with this sound card. It's a very expensive sound card, so it better come with some good quality audio and some good accessories here. So, first of all, we have our breakout cable. So this is where you're gonna get all of your standard analog connections. So you got your side, front, rear, sub, line in, and mic ports, and those all come out of kind of a serial looking jack on the sound card. Okay, so then we have an optical cable. This is kind of a sweet looking optical audio cable because, yeah, it's clear. That's, that's pretty neat, actually. Okay, next, we have a DVI to HDMI adapter. Okay, so it comes right with one of those. That's pretty awesome. And then we have an HDMI cable. This looks like it's about a six foot cable, six foot HDMI cable. And then we have, oh, this is interesting. Okay, so sorry, that was a Toslink fiber optic digital cable. And then this is the adapter for it. So there we go, now, now we've clarified that. Okay, so what else do we find in here? Here's your installation CD, so that's got your drivers on it. You're probably gonna wanna download the latest drivers for something like this anyway. Then you've got a little pamphlet, including a 10% discount at uh, cyberlink.com, so you can grab Power DVD 9, which you will need for Blu-ray playback. It's not done natively in Windows Vista or Windows 7. And then we will find a quick installation guide. So, wow, that doesn't seem all that quick, but it's in multiple languages, so let's focus down on what we're actually going to be using here, which is English for me anyway. So that just shows you where to plug in all of the stuff to the back of the card. That's very interesting. Let's get the card out now. All right, so here we are pulling out. Careful, the sound you are about to hear is extremely real. That is an awesome warning, and I love it. Okay, here is the sound card itself, the Home Theater HD Quality Assurance Seal. Let's take that right off. Quality is no longer assured. No, I'm just kidding. That's not how it works. Okay, there is the back of the card. So the first thing you notice about this is that it is a PCI Express 1X card. Now you can use a PCI Express 1X card in any PCI Express slot, whether it's 1X, 4X, 8X, 16X. So that's really good flexibility there. Here is the analog IO. So that's where we plug in that breakout cable we saw before. This is the doo -doo 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 -doo. headphone out. Or it's right there. So does this card actually have an amplified headphone jack is the question that I should be asking myself. Uh, yes, it does. This has an onboard headphone amplifier. So that's terrific if you're using headphones that have um, a high impedance. Okay, so digital out is right here. Then we've got our HDMI out and our HDMI in. So what that means is from your video card, you're gonna go DVI out into the HDMI in here, and then it's going to add the audio. So that's where you're getting the lossless audio algorithms and added, basically. It's, it's, um, it's an encryption device, basically. So you can't do it with any previous sound card because that's where it's all done, is right on the sound card. Then HDMI out will carry the video from the DVI, the audio that's been added by the processor on the sound card, out to your receiver. So let's have a look at the front of the card here. So here's where you're gonna find your front plugins. So if you were to plug in any, um, I believe Creative has like a front bay that you can plug into that. Uh, right here we've got a SPDIF in. So if you have to plug one of those in, that'll go there. At the top there's a few little fingers and to be perfectly honest I'm not sure what those are for. And then right here, this is one of the features that Ozentex cards are very famous for. So this is a swappable stop, uh, socket for your op amp. So what that means is that you can actually take this out if you prefer a different one 
to put in there. So a lot of guys are doing that with these cards. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the X-Fi Home Theater HD. Thank you for checking out my video blog.